Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. And we are back with Margie Bartley, excited to have our nationally board certified health and wellness coach joining us uh, amongst many titles. Uh, she's here to talk more about the work she does to help you with her company, Almonds and Oranges Health, uh, holistic coaching, you name it, she does it. Margie, please introduce yourself. You bet. My name is Margie Bartley. I'm National Board Certified Health and Wellness Coach, Certified Personal Trainer, Certified Group Fitness Instructor, uh, Corrective Exercise Specialist, Behavior Change Specialist, Diabetes Prevention Coach, and a few more that go on. Uh, so I, I don't need to go on with all of those. But yes. <laughs> well, we're what excited to have you. How do we contact you? Uh, reach out to me through Instagram at Almonds and Oranges Health, where you can uh, send me a message there. Or you can find me on I I N W E L L in well, but with two eyes, uh, dot com, that, which is a health coaching platform, and I am listed on there. Perfect. Well, thanks for being here. What did you have in mind for everyone today? What's our topic? I wanted to talk with uh, to, or talk about um, what health coaching is all about and why I work with a health coach. That is uh, one of the questions I get when people find out uh, that I am a health coach. And there are some misconceptions um, about what that is or what that means. So I thought that might be a good, um, this might be a good opportunity to share that with people so they know what that is all about. And Please, what would it love is to not about. Yeah. would love to hear. I'm still learning. I've talked to you before, but uh, you know what? Still have some questions, right? Let's figure this out. Walk us through it. You bet. Health coaches help walk you through behavior change to uh, embrace healthy lifestyle choices and behaviors that will improve your life with your own goals in mind. So what that means on an individual level is, uh, so some misconceptions, let me kind of start there too, are, oh, I have to be ill in order to work with a health coach, which isn't true. You don't have to be ill. Um, you don't have to be super fit either. Um, but there's a whole range and spectrum along that about what you might want from a health coach. Um, health coaches can help you even if you are just struggling with weight loss or you want to do a 5k or you want to do a marathon, anything in that, or if you just feel like you could improve your health a little bit better, or you're struggling with stress management, or you want to quit tobacco uh, or nicotine, any of those kinds of things, um, that help help you improve your life in a way that make that allow you to live the life you want to live. Um, is what a health coach would do. Health coaches don't coach you to adopt diets, any kind of diet. A health coach should not um, coach you to do anything specific in regards to health or to fitness. So for what I mean like with that. So I have a, a wide background. I wear many hats. I am a certified personal trainer, certified group fitness instructor, and corrective exercise specialist. That's a separate hat than when I health coach someone as a national board certified health and wellness coach. So I would not um, tell somebody who came to see me as a health coach, this is what you should do for your workout. You know, this yeah. is how much weight you lift. This is what you should do because that's not the hat I'm wearing at that time. So we have to be clear on what health, where health coaches draw the, draw the boundaries when they're working with individuals. And you also don't want a health coach who is coaching you to live your life or make the choices that they might have made for themselves, right? So if somebody says, hey, I did this and it was awesome. I love this diet. I think you should go completely vegan. It really helps improve things. That's not what a health coach should be telling you. Also, health coaches do not sell products, so they should not be saying, you should buy this supplement. You should, uh, this is the best kind of thing that's going to help you burn weight, burn the calories and that kind of thing. It'll increase your metabolism. If they're selling you a product, no, that's also not what a health coach should do. So again, a health coach coaches you through behavior change to make your own choices based on your own goals so that you can live your life the way you want to or improve your life the way you want to. That might mean you have a, a, a healthcare provider who said you are at risk for diabetes, you're pre-diabetic or uh, you know, high cholesterol or you need to quit tobacco or you're just feeling overwhelmed with stress. You can go to a health coach and they'll help you say, okay, where do you wanna start? And they also help you hone in on what your goal is. I've had many people sit down to talk with me and they'll say, well, I know I should eat healthier, but, right? So it's after the but, that's where you really need to start your work, right? So it's not 
eating healthier, it's, but where's this going, you know? I know I should eat healthier, but my kids have a lot of sport things going on in the evenings. We're on the run all the time. I'm in the car the evening. I leave work where I've got, you know, this kid and this thing and that kid and that thing. So we end up going through the drive throughs a lot. All right, sure. So maybe you need to eat healthier, but let's address some of the stress management that also goes along with a lifestyle that can be kind of chaotic sometimes, right? And makes you feel a little bit out of control sometimes because you don't have a choice. You, you got to drive the kids around. You got to do these things. So what you want to do is start with that. All right. Well, how can we streamline things for you? It's going to be hard to make those healthy choices at this point in time. So let's take a look at that. So that's, that's what I mean with um, a health coach will help you hone in on that. Instead of saying, oh, yes, you should be eating healthier and not go through the drive-thru. So what you should do, they are not telling you what to do. They're helping you find the way that you need to do it in a way that works for you, if that kind of makes sense. And I know some people are like, what? And I thought they would give me a diet plan and tell me what to eat and tell me what to do. And I, but no, we don't give a diet plan. We don't map it all out and say, here's what you do step by step, because what's going to happen? And somewhere down the road when you need to do that on your own um, yeah. we don't want to be a dependence level where again you're following a diet if diets worked and following a diet worked there would be new diets to do this every year we don't have already found the one that worked for everyone right yeah so there right. is no one diet right it just doesn't work for everyone somebody might thrive really well on a vegan diet and somebody else does not and somebody else wants the paleo and somebody else wants keto and there's all kinds of things um, so there's not one way that works for everyone. And that therein lies the issue for a lot of individuals is they um, get frustrated because they think, well, somebody else in my family or my best friend or somebody did this diet or did it that way. And they were so successful. What's wrong with me? I tried it too. And I'm getting no results or I, I you know, we also think we're faulty when we feel like I, I lack willpower. I couldn't stay on the diet. I broke the diet a week or two weeks after I was into it, or I did the week before or, or the diet for four months and then, uh, you know, I, I stopped doing the diet because I lost 20 pounds. And then another four months later, I had gained it all back. So, you know, what's wrong with me? Why can't I just stick with it? Well, it's because the diet didn't teach you anything other than calorie restricting. And calorie restricting is not a long-term plan. So that's the other thing a health coach will help you find is what is what are some strategies to develop that will help you over the long term? Because health is not a long-term or a short-term proposition it is a long-term proposition so you also need to start viewing it through the lens of what can i do now that's going to pay off for me into the future and one of my points of view my perspective too is um, improving your health and managing your health is an investment in your future and it's an, an investment in a relationship too if you want to if you're in a relationship and you want to be in that relationship long term. So, for example, um, I've had couples that are in their 40s or 50s and already thinking about as soon as all the kids are out of the house or as soon as we retire, these are things we want to do. Well, if you're not managing your health, you're not going to be able to do those things. You'll be diabetic or you'll have heart problems or you'll not be able to be mobile. So if you start now and embrace that make it for the long term, you will be able to live the life you want. It's an investment in your future. And also who wants to have a heart attack or a stroke or any of those, you know, become full, fully diabetic with any of those things that then makes you, your partner become your caretaker instead of your partner. And that's not fair to your partner. So it's really important that you want to look at it through that lens of what can I do to keep my independence long term and not, uh, not create a situation that my partner can't live the life they want to because now they have to take care of me all the time. That's those are not comfortable roles, either one of those for anybody. So it's an investment in your future to decide that you're going to do something now that you can continue to do further down the road. And you can't do diets forever. They just don't work there. No. That is true. All right. So customize individual, really. And but do you yeah. recommend to do you recommend someone getting like their blood work done ahead of time? Do you recommend certain mm -hmm. how does what is the first steps to working with someone like you? What do we need to have? That's, that's an excellent question. I do encourage people to go get blood work done if they haven't been to their doctor for an annual physical, if it's been more than a year. Um go get it done because that also is an illuminating point for everybody. It is good to find out. Sometimes individuals don't want to go because they're afraid they will get bad news. 
But I like to point out to you, you might get good news. It might not be as bad as you're thinking, you know, and why are you a little worried? What kind of news are you expecting? Yeah. And when we can talk about that and process that, they, it starts to take the fear factor out of that. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid they're going to tell me I'm pre-diabetic or I'm diabetic because it runs in my family, blah, 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 so and so has it. Yeah, but what if you're not and you can stop it now, right? Right. Because you can, through lifestyle management, prevent full-blown type 2 diabetes. If you are, um, even if you're pre-diabetic, through lifestyle management, you can start to reverse that and get control of that. It's better to be in control, I think, than to not, not know and be worried. And I do encourage people to get that, um, all, all of their appropriate screenings and health and blood work done because it, it can give you a level of security and confidence that you're on the right path as you move forward or to know which path you might want to go down. So for example, if you do have high cholesterol, who wants to have a heart attack, right? Yeah. So let's start um, going down the path of um, lowering that cholesterol, having a discussion about um, what you can do to start lowering your cholesterol. Um, and that's where it is so important as well to have an individualized, customized plan because everybody's life is different and how it's going to fit into your life is different than your neighbor or, or anybody else that I'm coaching. So I don't have a one size plan fits all. It has to be individualized to the steps that you are ready to take that you want to take. And that's the other aspect is it needs to be in bite size steps. Or <laughs> I guess that's a mixed metaphor, but uh, it can seem overwhelming, especially if you are anticipating that you might have a health condition that's going to require more, um, more care or more attention to have to, to manage and deal with. And that's where a health coach can really help take that fear factor out because we can break it down into smaller manageable increments. When we look at the long-term prospect of something, a road can seem very, very long. If you're going to drive from New York to LA, that's a long road trip. And yet, when you get in the car to drive it, you're not thinking, oh, my next stop is LA as I leave New York. No, you're looking at like, oh, do I need to stop in New Jersey for a restroom break? <laughs> what about Pennsylvania? Right? So it's the same way with health. You're not, we're not, it, it looks overwhelming because you know you have a long road, but a health coach can help you to see what the next rest stop is. And also if you need to change direction, well, maybe this road is not the best road. Let's take a detour and go down a different road. And that's where it's also helpful to have the emotional support. So you're not doing it alone. That's another thing that can really seem uh, very scary when you start out is doing it by yourself and not having a support system and kind of not knowing if you're doing the right thing or what else I can do or I'm doing everything I can do. Um, and a health coach can be right there with you offering that support and showing you how to um, find support elsewhere in your life too. So you feel supported at home as well. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing that. Uh, Margie Bartley, remind us how we can reach you, please. Yeah, you can reach me at almonds and ale. Sorry. Almonds and oranges health on Instagram. Just reach out and DM me or you can find me on inwell.com and that's two eyes i-n-w-e-l-l.com which is a health coaching platform and i'm listed on there as well all right thank you so much also uh the work you're doing you do offer initial consultations someone is interested as we continue the conversation about having health coach what it's like to work with someone and where did you want to kind of travel upon next yeah uh reach out and I am, I give free consultations the first time just to see if um, it's a good fit for someone to work with me and for me to work with them because personality also matters a lot. It's the same. I do that in any aspect. So even if I am going to work with somebody as a personal trainer, if I feel like I'm not the best fit for them, I will refer them to a different personal trainer who maybe has a different area of expertise or just has a different personality. I always want what's best for anybody I work with and um, they should also, I encourage them to be discriminatory as far as choosing um, to work with somebody that's the best fit for them. Don't do a consultation with someone and then feel like you have to work with them because they gave you a free consultation, even though you might have um, some worries that, you're not sure this is the best person for you. It's okay. We're all different. Make sure you find the best fit as well. Okay. Um, yeah. Sorry. And 
look around in your life too. I really encourage individuals to make sure they have a support system in place um, in case you need objective support. Uh, family members or friends sometimes think if we say to them, ah, I'm, I'm pre-diabetic, I'm really worried, I, and I know, you know, healthcare providers said I need to lose some weight and I need to um, get my blood sugars down. And then, you know, a week or two later, you're at a gathering or a party of some sort and you're having a piece of cake and somebody says, should you be eating that? You told me you're, you're trying to lose weight and you have problems with blood sugars. Okay. That's not helpful. <laughs> That's not objective support. And that's also why it's really important to work with somebody like me as a health coach who can give you that objective support. We have loved ones who mean well, but don't always know how to do the best thing for us. And processing that with a with a professional can really help as well, uh, because sometimes we kind of lose our own power in some of that. And that's the struggle, too, is trying to find our power and manage that um, to the best of our abilities. And, and too often we give over our power into a situation or um, food. Food has more power than it should in our lives, which is why we might overeat sometimes, in some cases undereat, or just not make the best um, decisions around food and exercise. That's the other thing is uh, I have so many people who just wanna manage their health through nutrition, wanting to calorie restrict, wanting to only eat certain foods, cut out you know, all the junk and all the, the other stuff, while it's important to make those healthy nutrition choices, every, study after study has shown that the best combination for or best approach is a combination of healthy nutrition and movement for the long-term management of health. So you have to have fitness in there too. But then the other question for so many people is how, what kind of fitness, what's the best thing? Uh, and that's the other thing that a health coach can help you with is finding your approach to, to health and fitness uh, that works for you. There's no one way. You don't have to be a runner. You don't have to do high intensity in, interval training workouts. Um, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. It's, it's what works for you. What is something that appeals to you? And also to understand how to um, apply these these changes into your life. You should be finding ways to make the healthy choices fit into your life yeah. instead of trying to bend your life around these new things. And that's, you know, for example, when people hit the gym heavy in January because they're going to lose that, that 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds uh, by March, they're in the gym every day for an hour, killing and literally almost killing themselves, injuring themselves, burning themselves out. That is a way, that's a perfect example of trying to bend your life to, to accommodate changes rather than find a way to get the changes to fit into your life. Because bending your life and trying to suddenly go from, I've not been working out to I'm in the gym every day for an hour, you know, it doesn't work. That's why everybody that does that in January is out of the gym by March, right? So you need to find a way like, where do I start? How do I start? How do I maintain? And how do I build and grow that? Um, and manage that with the life I'm already living. And it is possible. You don't have to change your, your life and overhaul your life in order to have healthier nutrition, healthier movement fit into that. Um, you need to find a way to make those choices within the structure of what your life already is. Yeah. Wow. You got me thinking. I, and, and by the way, people look at me all the time and say, oh, you must eat healthy. You must work out. And I just naturally am genetically thin and I look like I work out. I don't. Doesn't mean I'm healthy, right? I don't eat yeah. proper. I don't do this, but people think I do. And so like I have, a, I don't really eat vegetables. I don't really eat fruits. I have my own issues, but it's like, you know, health is not also about the way you look. It's about your lifestyle and what you do. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you got me. Right. You know, I keep saying once the kids get older, I'll have more time. But at that point, it could be too late. So you right. got me. Well, and we you have to. OK, yeah. you're illustrating some perfect points, too, is we we always look at other people thinking, well, it must be easier for them or they got this. And everyone's individual. we got to stop comparing yourself. Somebody can actually be a little bit overweight and be perfectly healthy. That doesn't mean they need to lose weight. If they go to the doctor and all their blood work is good and they're, they're happy and they're living the life they want, even if you're a little bit overweight, live your life the way you want. You don't have to lose weight to be aesthetically pleasing. It really goes back to uh, the, all those biometric risks and factors. 
if your cholesterol is good and your blood sugar is good and um, your blood pressure is good, all of those things are good. Then if you're, you know, you look to the rest of us like you're a little bit overweight, it's nobody else's business. It's nobody else's business. If you're living your life the way you want to, that's the key right there. And you're also hitting on the mental and emotional wellness component of that too. If you feel happy and healthy with what you've got going on, that's what you want, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stop looking at somebody else and saying, I need to look like that or anything. Because we don't know what battles anybody else is fighting. And, you know, I've had... Um, Somebody say, well, I saw so-and-so in the gym and they are, they're so skinny and I won't be skinny like that. I said, maybe something you don't know about that person is she had cancer last year, lost mm -hmm. a lot of weight. That's not the way, you know, and we, we don't stop to think about those kinds of things. You know, that's not the way you want to go about and do something like that. And if you've walked up to that person and said, my God, you're so skinny. I wish I was skinny like you. And then you had to, how are you going to feel if they said, well, I have cancer. That's how I lost weight. Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't want to do that either, you know, so be careful with that. And uh, sometimes somebody might have an eating disorder and you're saying, oh, you're so skinny, you look great. And that's not a good thing to say. To so just like we shouldn't comment on somebody who's overweight, don't comment on somebody who, who looks thin. We Again, we don't know their story. And in fact, stop comparing in the first place. That's look so hard. Here. That's so hard. Right. It's, right. Looking around our commercial advertising, social media, it's just everyone looks so perfect. And so like, ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's hard. Yeah. And they have found out that you know, some of those fitness influencers, right, were manipulating the camera. And there's a lot of Photoshop going on. And also we found out some of the fitness influencers were not actually <laughs> certified in fitness. So you have to be really careful about who you're going to admire or who you want to um, follow or lead or, you know, emulate. Let's put it that way, too. Um, go to some of the, na the um, national listings to make sure that somebody is actually a fitness professional, as they claim. So to National Board Health and Wellness Coaching, they have a website and they have a listing of, of um, the certified professionals who are national board certified health and wellness coaches. So if somebody says I'm a national board health and wellness coach, go to their website and find out if that's true. There's also um, ACSM, American College of Sports Medicine, and ACE, American Council on Exercise, have what are called profinders, where you can go in there and if somebody says I'm a certified professional, certified ACE certified or ACSM certified fitness professional, you can actually go to their websites and find out. There's also um, what's called CRAPE Coalition for um, Registry, Registry of Exercise Professionals. And you can also go there and find out if somebody's actually a certified fitness professional. So don't just have somebody say, um, oh, I, I know about fitness. I've seen a number of web websites that people have done, particularly women, a little bit more than men, but maybe it's only because I'm a woman and I tend those tend to cross my paths a little bit more. There are men out there as well who have their own blogs or their own websites and they're saying, oh, this is, the, they're promoting a lot of them. This is the best workout. Do it this way, do it that way. And they are not certified at all in any way, shape or form in fitness. It's just something they found out for themselves. Oh, I tried this and it was fantastic. And some of them are getting paid <laughs> by products and getting sponsorship to sell a product, even though they're not a certified professional. So vet your professionals before you sign on board with them. Right. Well, Margie, thank you so much for being here. We're just about out of time. Would you mind wrapping up today's conversation? And of course, we'll figure out how to contact you. Thank you. You bet. Uh, it's been awesome talking with you and, and oh. going through this process. Reach out to me on Almonds and Oranges Health on Instagram. Or you can also reach out on inwell, I -I -N -W -E -L -L, uh, dot com, which is a health coaching platform. Uh, platform. Everybody on, on that platform is a certified health coach. You can't be on there without that. Um, go through your pro finder and just think about reaching out and getting a free consultation with any kind of health coach or a personal trainer or whatever area you want to work on. Get a free consultation and learn more about the process because it's, it is a great process to have a professional help you move forward in your life the way you want to. Yeah. Thank you so much, Margie Bartley. Pleasure having you here as always. Always great conversation. Thanks for inspiring us and driving us 
to push harder, move forward, and to make more healthy choices. Uh, yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> Have a great day, okay? We'll talk yeah. soon. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks so much for being here. And thank you, everyone, for listening and tuning in. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, online radio box, and simple radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay.